What a wonderful year to honor St. Joseph on this 150th anniversary of declaring St. Joseph as the patron of the Universal Church. We also here in the Archdiocese of New Orleans have the opportunity of celebrating the year of the Eucharist. I think they both go hand to hand as we celebrate our love for Christ Jesus the Lord, whom we receive every day in the Eucharist to sustain us on our journey of life, and having St. Joseph as the wonderful protector of the church. We know in the life of St. Joseph, he was a humble man. He took the hand of our Blessed Mother, knowing full well that she had a child that did not belong to him. But God came to him and told him to have no fear, that the child within her womb was our Savior, Christ the Lord. And from that moment, Joseph being a husband, a father, a protector of the Holy Family, gives us all to rejoice. Although scripture says there's no real actual words that Joseph proclaimed, but we know him full well by the actions he did. And St. Joseph had an opportunity to mold Jesus, to help Jesus to understand his role as a worker in the Lord's world, but more importantly, how to love with a generous heart. I remember in my life as I was preparing for the sacrament of confirmation, Sister Elizabeth Ann Rafferty, uh, Sister of the Blessed Sacrament, wonderfully enough, in this year of the Eucharist, asked me who would be my patron saint. Since I'm trying to find something to go along with Julius in my middle name. And she said, well, go to Joseph. Joseph is the perfect name. Saint Joseph should be your model. And unknowing to me at the time, Saint Joseph has been with me every part of my life. Ministering to God's people as a member of the Society of Saint Joseph, the Sacred Heart, I have Saint Joseph as my model, how to be patient with others, how to build up the kingdom of God, rooted in opportunity of always going to the Lord Jesus in prayer. I guess many times in our lives, we may not know where to turn or know what to do, but St. Joseph and his wonderful litanies give us examples of what we're called to do. A man of patience, a man of justice, a man who is always the hope for the sick. St. Joseph gives us the opportunity to experience the wonderful calming spirit of the Lord in our lives by the way St. Joseph lived his life as a servant for God, protecting our Blessed Mother and making sure no harm came to Christ Jesus our Lord. May this year continue to be a year of fulfillment for us all as we come and gather into the house of the Lord, celebrating the most holy sacrament of the altar, Christ Jesus the Lord, knowing that behind him is the wonderful loving arms of good Saint Joseph, who showed him how to always live following the desires and the holiness of your heart. Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, Saint Joseph, protector of the Holy Family, pray for us, amen.